alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Here's that first Have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. You want to see that jab? Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is a 10 round. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Now he's getting into a groove. You can tell he just landed a three punch combination. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Kid Dynamite's lucky he just got away with one there. He just snuck in a headbutt. Oh, how about that? Comes back with a power punch of his own. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Get on your bike. Get on your bike. How about a return to center with the left hand? Blocks that punch. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Little head hunting with the left. that one two three boom 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 all landing kid dynamite's left working well that time good looking counter punch you know he did a very nice job of finishing up that he put the third punch in there and landed the combination good right hand Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. That right hand serving him well. Well, we just learned something here, Teddy, in this fight. He landed a beautiful counter punch, and if that continues tonight, this fight's going to be in his favor. Yeah, this fight might be over, because when you land counter punches, usually you're landing clean shots, and sooner or later, shots that your opponent doesn't see. And those are the shots that say, good night. Go! Go! Overhand right can be so effective. A good hook by Kid Dynamite. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination and they both do.
Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. That's a good left hand by Kid Dynamite. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. End of the round. And that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything. You know, he wants to make everything count. But... It gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you could just outwork him a little. Good solid overhand left. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Comes right back at him with a left hand. That's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. The left side, hand coming side, into play by Kid side, Dynamite. Side. Come on now. Now that's offense by Kid Dynamite. He comes with the straight right hand. Halfway through this round here. Locks one and then brings his own bazooka. On, Excellent hook by Kid Dynamite. Final 10 seconds. And we come to the end of the round. All right, let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see that he's up by just a round. But I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point. Missed the body shot. Kid Dynamite's completely side missing side. the jab, and when that's not there, well, you're gonna dug yourself a big hole. Now that's like saying, I wanna go swimming. Guess what, there's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need jab to fight, to set things up. Good looking two punch combination there. And a right hand lands flush. Right to the body. Halfway through round number four. Scored well with that straight left. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Nice work, nice back to the bun. Solid left hand to the head. Kid Dynamite's proving to be elusive. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Kid Dynamite's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. Unable to make an impact there by Kid Dynamite. That's a big striking blow to the head by Kid Dynamite. Go 
Good solid right hand by Kid Dynamite. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Kid Dynamite's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Double up on those punches. Heck of a power punch by Kid Dynamite. Halfway into round number five here. Kid Dynamite's left now getting into the mix. Now committing to that jab straight hand, and it works out. Kid Dynamite's game plan was to get to the inside and score and have success with a power punching on the inside, Teddy. It's not happening. So what is the answer? Well, first of all, why is it not happening? He got caught a punch earlier on his way in, and I think he hasn't gotten over that. He's still worried now about getting in there. That, that punch from before, from a couple rounds ago, is still playing on his mind. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. Good strong combo. Kid Dynamite's able to avoid that punch. And now the blood coming from his nose. Excellent one-two by Kid Dynamite. Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. Comes right back with a shot of his own. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's throwing punches out there. That may cost him dearly because these are perfect and prime to be countered with. Yeah, they are. They're a little too fat. And when they're a little bit too fat, guess what? The butcher's going to come over and he's going to cut that fat off. Oh, well, his opponent's going to throw in between them. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Wow, what an uppercut. And you can see the mark of red just above his lip. His nose is bleeding. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. And oh, what a big shot. The left crashed home. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job. Of just big shot there. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Kid Dynamite's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. We got a fighter who was knocked down earlier, who, as you can see, is still going about his business the exact same way. Let's turn the tables a bit. If you're opposite that fighter, what do you want to do? What you want to do is just keep going and hey, you know that old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, he's giving it to you, keep taking it. Keep going to that well. To the Look at that. And for the second time tonight,